Hey guys, thanks for stopping back at my site, I appreciate it. I want to do the follow-up video on the Sika Gear Slinger that I'm using for my business everyday carry. I have it packed out right now, so if I was to get a call, I could go out and see one of my appointments right now. Now, I don't have one of my catalogs or my laptop in here. It does fit, even with the way I have it packed out right now. But if somebody called me right now and I had to go into the city or something like that, this is pretty much what I would be taking with me. Now, it's not set up in any way as any kind of survival bag or anything like that. This is just so I can efficiently do my job. So let's go over some of the items that I've put in here and one of the things that I've added. And what I did was I added a Maxpedition cell phone holder right onto the main strap. And I really like the positioning of that because it puts it right in the center of my chest. So that if I had a jacket on or something like that, or if I'm in the city and it's loud, I can hear my phone ringing. Okay, let's take a look on the inside and I'll show you how I have it packed out. In this top compartment right here, I just have some quick little items. I have the earbuds for my iPhone. This is just a towel to wipe off my glasses and my iPhone. And I also have the cleaning solution. This is my pick set. And I have all lock picks, tension wrenches, broken key extractors, follower sets, and stuff like that. If I have to get into something for one of my accounts, I can do it. And if I have to help them rekey locks, I can also help them with that. I also have a digital camera in here. Now, yeah, we all have cameras on our phones and all that stuff. But when you're in the city, sometimes you may see something that's a little bit more important to you and you want to get a really good quality photo, not rely on just your digital phone. So uh, that's why I carry a digital camera with me. And I also have a Starbucks card in there that I got for Christmas. Now in the front compartment right here, the only thing I keep in there is my wallet. It's not in there now, but the reason I keep it in there is for that feature right there. And that's one of my favorite items on the bag right there is this little safety strap so that somebody can't come along and pull the zipper down and try to get in there. So I really like that feature. Now inside this front compartment right here is the only modification that I've made to the bag. I took a ride to Home Depot and I bought a bucket buddy for seven bucks and I'm sure you've seen them. That's just those little pocket organizers that go inside like a, a five gallon paint or spackle bucket. And what I did was I just cut it down to size so that I could get the most amount of little pockets. And I just put some double stick Velcro on there and shoved it inside. And now I can just keep everything in here and it's nice and organized and it's where it needs to be and it's not gonna be flopping around. So just to go over some of the items that I have in here, this is just a small screwdriver and it also has a tip in here if I have to make adjustments on door closers. This is my flash memory card and what this is for is all of my catalogs, my price books, my discounts and all that stuff. If I don't have my laptop with me, I can plug into somebody else's computer and I can get them the information they need. This is called a door, uh, a hinge doctor, I'm sorry. And what this is for is if I'm in a casino with one of my guys and we're walking to go look at a door and there's a door that's hanging on the hinges or something like that, you can pretty much use this as Band-Aid surgery to fix the door. I carry an iNova flashlight, my Gerber multi-tool, a Spydeco knife. Now this is a cheap knife. I'm not saying anything wrong against uh, Spydeco, guys. Don't beat me up or anything like that. When I say cheap, what I mean is I deal with a lot of historic buildings in New York City. There's a lot of places that have a zero tolerance for weapons and all that stuff, and I'm not allowed to take any objects like that in with me. So what I can do is if I know I'm going, let's say, to the Chrysler building, I can take this knife out of the bag and I can stow it somewhere. I can hide it someplace in an alley or underneath a garbage can or something like that, and if it gets lost or it's taken from security um, and I don't get it back, I'm not going to cry. I'm not saying that it's a bad knife. I'm not saying that Spydeco isn't as good as Kershaw or anything like that. I'm just saying that it's a cheap knife, and if I was to lose it, I wouldn't worry about it, okay? I do carry a light stick wrapped in paracord. Uh, if you've seen my first Everyday Carry video, you know that I got stranded in New York back in the blackout, and the light sticks really helped me out. So I carry them. I do have another small screwdriver set, a Sharpie. This is a, a total Allen wrench set. Pretty much covers everything in my industry that I might have to work on. My business cards. This is a wire stripper wire cutter. And this is a little pocket torch that you can get from Radio Shack. So those are pretty much just some of the tools that if I go out and I'm calling on somebody and they need me to help them out with something, I can at least say, no problem, I can help you, no, no sweat. In the main compartment, what I'm carrying right now are my gloves, a scully, there's the other glove, 
Now down here, this is another item from Maxpedition, and this is called a tactile small. This is just a little pocket organizer. And what I have in here is all everyday kind of stuff, like a spare set of lenses, um, some cleaning solution, some handy wipes, some Tums, aspirin, lip balm, all that kind of stuff. Everything fits in there nice and easy, fits in the bag perfectly. Now on this side, being it's winter, I do have some hand warmers, chest warmers, foot warmers, and stuff like that. If I'm running around the city and it gets cold, I can at least use these or give them to my wife if she gets cold. Again, another item that is probably more geared up for my wife than me would be a small poncho. And I also carry a spare charging adapter for my iPhone. And then back in this pocket right here is just a small notebook so that I can take notes when I go call on my customers. And then again, what you can see right here is just another cheap throwaway little knife. This is something put out by a company called Sarge. This is just called a stinger. And I just have that there in case I gotta cut something open or use it. You know, I'm on the subway a lot. So that's pretty much it right there. That's everything that I carry when I'm going out to do my job on my appointments. Now, one of the things that I like about this bag, and it has definitely turned out to be my favorite everyday carry bag that I've ever used. I know a lot of you have seen this feature, but if you're wearing it and you have to pull it up to the front of you, you can just reach around and grab this handle right here and you just pull the bag right around to the front of your chest. And I can't tell you how, uh, how, how convenient that is when you're on the subway. You don't have to take the bag off. You can just reach around back, pull it up to your chest, and you're good to go. And especially in New York City, they're so hard up for money right now that transit police will give you a ticket. They issue people summonses if you have a backpack on an empty seat next to you. So that's just one, it's, it's just a great feature right there that I don't have to take this off. I can just pull it around in my chest and it's all ready to go. So that's it, guys. That's the video I promised to put out. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. You can check out the bag on their website at maxpedition.com. I'll put up a small tile on the end so you can see, again, where you can look at the bag, all right? Thanks very much for your support, man. I really appreciate it, and Happy New Year to everyone.